Hello guys, this is question 3.6 of chapter 3 which is related to the random variables and probability distributions and the statement it has is the shelf life in days for bottles of a certain prescribed medicine is a random variable having the density function uh, which is given here. Okay, So this density function is basically equal to this value for all the values greater than 0 and 0 elsewhere. Okay, So what do I have to find out here? Find the probability that a bottle of this medicine will have a shell life of A at least 200 days and B anywhere from 80 to 120 days. Okay? So in this question, what we have to do here, we have this equation for all the values greater than 0 and what I have to do, I have to find the probability and in order to find the probability of it, let me write this solution and generically finding out the probabilities between two limits as we can see here that it ranges from 0 to infinity. So what I can do here, I can just let me have this probability for uh, let me have here x okay. for it. What I can do, I can integrate it from 0 to infinity okay and here writing all these values so this is 20,000 all divided by x plus 100 whole cube okay. so integrating it over all the limit as we can see here that this is from 0 to infinity so it will be equal to 1 here because this is all the values of the ranges which are described here. But if you want to uh, do it for any two ranges, let me describe them here as well. If you want to find the probability for the value of x which is greater or equal to a and less than or equal to b. So in this limit, you have to write it from a to b and this would be 20,000 divided by x plus 100 whole cube and this should be what this should be the formula which i am going to use here okay so this will be the formula which i am going to use here so therefore in part a the values are given here and in this type of values what i have here the value of a is as we can see that this must be at least 200 days so at least 200 is is 200, A is 200 and B is infinity which can ranges from 200 to infinity. So let me write these values here. So when I will write these values here, so here it would be 200 and here infinity. So it would be 20,000 whole divided by X plus 100 whole cube and DX. So let me integrate it and integrating it uh, this part what I have to do this is the constant part so let me take it out 20,000 and now integrating the values which are 200 to infinity making this denominator the numerator so with what I will get x plus 100 and minus 3 dx okay so now doing it what will happen here in integration i know the rule of integration that if i have a value of a x of n dx so here in integrating it i will get here n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so applying the same rule here with this prob uh, with these ranges what i will get here i will get 20000 okay multiplying it with the x plus 100 and minus 3 plus 1 would be x plus 100 and minus 3 this would become minus 2 dividing it over this minus 2 and the ranges here are 200 to infinity okay so now when i will solve it then i will get here different values and here let me first cancel it out it will be 1 and here ultimately what values would I get so let me write them here I will get here minus 10,000 whole divided by x plus 100 whole square and it ranges from 200 
to infinity okay so now let me write these values and in writing these values i have to first put the higher limit so when i will put this higher limit here which is infinity so anything divided by infinity would be zero so here i will get minus zero okay because 10,000 divided by infinity plus 100 would be infinity as well. So, 10,000 divided by infinity is 0. Similarly, here subtracting it from the other limit. So, there I will get now putting the value of 200. So, here minus 10,000 divided by this 200 plus 100. This would be 300. Okay, whole square okay so it will be just like here okay. so now solving it what i will get here here ultimately i will get 1 by 9 which is what which is the solution of part a of my question okay uh, we will very easily see that here this is what this is this calculation minus minus will be plus so plus will be uh, this zero will be subtracted from this one so ultimately i will give i will get this positive value okay? so that is basically the solution of part a similarly for part b what do i have to do in part b the only thing here i have to do here is that i have to change these limits okay so in these limits the lower limit would be 80 and the higher limit would be 120 so now let me change it so the lower limit here would be 80 higher limit will be 120 okay so the final equation i will be having here would be this one but the only thing here which will be changed here will be these two things so let me change them here as well so it will be from 80 to 120 and here what is this this will be the solution after solving it for the terms which i have done here for part a you will get the answer which is related to this one so this is the conceptual overview of finding the probabilities from the uh, random variables or the density functions if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box so see you soon